So I already talked about this here and there in some of my other unboxings, but many people don't don't watch like my ZX or Vcross unboxing. So I wanted to make it kind of official. And I still had this got a story box laying around and decided, yeah, why why not make a goodbye video? So it's probably also like in the title or thumbnail that yeah, I say goodbye to got a story and AliExpress boxes after now like two years that I opened them or ne nearly two years and yeah when it when it started it uh, it was just uh, yeah very small and just a way to help people with not wasting their money like when I started buying these boxes I was so disappointed and so sad so often uh, there were so many scam boxes and uh, there are still many scams <laughs> like yeah very bad card stock and card quality so yeah i wanted that other people don't feel the the same sadness <laughs> that i felt when i opened them and yeah i was looking on youtube and doesn't really found like a lot of content or like unboxings i think there was already like tcg conrad a uh, comrade and uh, the one one pro tcg uh, but yeah beside them there, there weren't many or like many boxes were like unknown so it was also like very exciting to see like what's inside the box when you when you open like a official tcg you already know like all of the hits most of the time like you know the the chase card secret rare you know everything and this was really refreshing for me to just have no idea what's the cardstock, what's the quality. But yeah, over the time I, okay, the first SSR, I was introduced through uh, one of my subscribers to Vcross and ZX. I, I haven't really heard from them before, but yeah, I, I found like some official anime style TCGs, which are of course like a lot more expensive than these AliExpress boxes. But there's also always like the issue with uh, with the stolen artwork or the yeah not licensed artwork, and yeah I have to admit like in the beginning I didn't really thought about it that much like it was very small and uh, yeah the the fandom for God of Story was very small and but over the time like I got more comments and they kind of made me think about it and. Yeah, at some point I just was like, yeah, I think this is really not not cool to take uh, the art from from other artists and print them on cards and make money with it. And yeah, for, for some time I could kind of like justify it with that I open them to stop people from buying bad boxes. But with YouTube and everything, it's at the same time, it's kind of like advertising it. Like maybe some people who don't know of got a story or never yeah heard of it before they now get introduced to it because of the reach of the unboxings and now they start buying so and this was like a thought that made me kind of uncomfortable like i don't want want to really advertise it in, in this way like i can think of a lot better ways to to spend money on cards or on on real art that pay the artist, like Vcross, for, ex for example. And yeah, nowadays we have still, I think still the issue like with the stolen art, but at the same time with the AI art, or I don't know if you can really call it art, but it's, yeah. I don't like it. I think there is like no soul to the artwork. And yeah, a lot of these new boxes are also, uh, kind of too loot and I know in the past I kind of played with it a little bit played along but not like I'm super into all of this loot stuff like I don't know it's good for for YouTube attention and clicks but it's not like something that I really feel attached to personally like don't really need this in my life and sometimes there are very uh, questionable artworks of yeah, very young characters and this is like very very disgusting and yeah I just uh, got more and more away from AliExpress and got a story and yeah 
now I don't really feel like spending money on it anymore. Because I got so into Vicross, like, especially since I learned how to play the game. Uh, I enjoy the unboxing so, so much. Like yesterday I recorded the, the new set, the Nichi Sanji, and Nichi Sanji, the VTuber collaboration set of Vicross. And man, I felt so much joy. It was so fun to open it and to, to look at the cards and think about how you want to fill the deck with them. And this is like something that I really was missing. Like it's cool to open these cards and everything in these boxes. But after the unboxing, they are just like for the binder, just laying around. And with Vcross, I now I sit down and look at the cards and the effects and the rules. And now I finally can like put my two brain cells to work and think about ways to to yeah build decks with the cards. And this is something that makes me very happy. I discovered. So yeah, I I needed to reduce like my spending a lot like it's not like i'm all only doing v cross and zx in the future i would still try to look into other official tcgs of course no aliexpress stuff or like no it's not 100 percent true because there is like aliexpress stuff which is licensed and yeah i <laughs> One week ago, I opened like a British Museum box from AliExpress, and this video is not online yet. But this was very cool. But it's, as I said, it's licensed. Like the Caillou boxes, well, from the Caillou uh, company. Uh, the card quality is a lot better than all of these random stuff from God of Story, or like the boxes that are called God of Story, which are often not God of Story. Like they just put the name God of Story before the box. So easier to find and people might buy it because they think it's got a story so yeah so this video will still go go live at some point i don't know when but yeah in general i will not open open anything from from got a story or at least let, let us say like no, nothing unofficial so but yeah i have this is a duplicate it's a duplicate uh like but i have really cool stuff like there are some Japanese card boxes you've probably never heard or seen before. And I already, I got these last year when I was overspending by a lot. Like, yeah, there's investment in my channel name, but when it comes to like money and spending, I'm, I'm the last guy you should listen to or like the very bad example. <laughs> Spend way too, too much. And this is like another reason why I I uh, decided to cut AliExpress completely because it's just a never-ending money spending hole and yeah Vcross is especially in Germany here a lot more expensive than in America probably because the stores just buy uh, a few boxes like this is not really uh, popular in Germany at all uh, new TCGs or like smaller TCGs have a, a very hard time here. Uh, it's felt like, besides maybe like One Piece, One Piece is kind of growing as far as I can see. But because I I also doesn't ha or don't have like a local game store or anything, it's not like I really am deeply into the the TCGs that see play. Maybe also like Flesh and Blood. But flesh and blood is i've opened one box and i got i think two yeah two more boxes for openings but i don't know if i will open them or i think i would rather sell the boxes sealed to have more money for vcross but yeah long term uh i i don't know i i think i've I still have some unboxings pre-recorded but the amount of videos i will put out will reduce over time. There will be some live streams, especially for for Vcross. So uh, yeah, where we can chat if you are into that. Maybe if you are new to Vcross and you still don't know really like the, the rules or the cards and what to play and what to do and you have questions, uh, we will yeah have the possibility to chat a little bit. 
But yeah, I would really like to get into the the deck building of Vcross and talking to people all over the world. This is like something that I really like about content in, in English. Like some of you may know that I, I started with a German channel very heavily on, on Pokemon at that point. But yeah, switching to, to English was like the best best thing that I, happened to me kind of. Because I, I really enjoy like when people commented in the past like uh, greetings from I think they're like from Mexico or from yeah America. A lot of people are from America, so yeah, that's something I wanted to say. So yeah, thank you so much for for all the support. And I yeah I understand when some of you will say like I am not interested in your channel anymore, and it will probably yeah there will be some people who unsubscribe and a lot of less views in the future. But yeah, I I think I have to do like what my my heart tells me. Like yeah, maybe if you give the the V Cross unboxing a try, to I think tomorrow. No, in two days it should be live. And yeah, maybe you can feel my excitement, and maybe you can see or give it a chance at least. It would be very cool if uh, at least a few of you uh, would still. <laughs> follow my channel but I totally understand if you say like oh I I don't care about you anymore you are dead to me but yeah I still want to say thank you for all the support in the past and yeah there are as I said in the beginning like there weren't many content creators but yeah we we crew a lot and yeah I just want to give you some names so you know like where to look because there are still people doing unboxing so like tcg comrade as i mentioned uh, greetings neighbor <laughs> kind of neighbor <laughs> so uh yeah still opening some aliexpress stuff mike anime hide hole of course who is also like uh, he has like a discord server with a lot of nice people and if you have questions or yeah just need help to navigate through the aliexpress stuff or just want to chat or uh, sell something i think they also have like for for selling a channel uh you should join the discord uh very helpful very nice people uh or voxide is also like a, a youtuber who's pushing a lot of content at the moment i i watch a lot of he's also live streaming i think on thursday monday to uh, thursday and uh yeah or immortal god um uh, michi so yeah these were like the names that i come to my mind at the moment so but there are a lot of a lot more content creator maybe if you are a content creator uh, and still watching uh, if i missed your name sorry but uh, there are many channels and you can comment of course you can comment your you can like advertise your own channel it's cool under this video for the people and yeah let's end with the force of will pack uh yeah what can i say thank you so much and i'm i hope you are a little bit excited for the future I will not stop doing YouTube, of course. I just love the journey and I love cards too much. But yeah, with uh, with AliExpress or God of Story, this is the end. So yeah, all good things have come to an end. And it's okay. No Anubis for me, but yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, maybe until the next video or like in Germany, we say Auf Wiedersehen.